Hi guys, it's Ivy from Ivy Pink Made, and I'm back with another tutorial to show you how to press the enamel mug using this tumbler heat press. Here's some of the supplies that we'll need. We'll need a tumbler heat press machine. I got this one from Swing, and then some heat tape, heat protectant gloves, and then the enamel mug, and then the sublimation paper from Wocock. From our last video, I showed you how to use the Epson Tank 2760 with the Wocock sublimation ink and print it out. So now our design is ready and we're ready to put it on the enamel mug. So the first thing that we're going to do is wipe the mug down with alcohol. And then afterwards, we're going to take the print and use the heat tape and flip it over. Um, you need a mirror image if you are using a design that has font. So then once you have it placed on your mug, go ahead and take your heat tape and make sure that you secure the edges down. A heat tape is really important with sublimation and it's definitely a tool that you must have because it protects the image from moving around when you press it and also from the ink from getting out. Once you have your enamel mug ready, you're ready to put it in. I am going to slip it in with the rim on the outer edge. I have a press where you can switch out the plates. So prior to slipping the mug in, I made sure that it fit properly and that I had it in the right settings so that when I press it together, that it would be the correct pressure and that it was in the right place. Also, I like to use a heat protectant gloves just to be safe. The temperature that I'm using for this enamel mug is 375 for 90 seconds. Once the time is up, you will hear this sound. And to remove your mug from the heat press, just make sure you slip it out gently. This mug will be really hot to handle, so I suggest just waiting a little bit and letting it cool before you peel it off. Here is a little tip that I like to do is take a quick sneak peek to make sure that my image, all the color is good and that nothing needs to be repressed because if it, everything looks good and nothing needs to be repressed again, then you're good to go. Just go ahead and start peeling off the image gently. Because this image has some gray colors as well, I used a full color print out option for this instead of black and white. The ink and paper that I used to print out this image is from Wocock, and I will link all of the supplies that I used below. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much for stopping by, and see you next craft!